ओके ओके इज इट विजिबल एवरीथिंग इज विजिबल ब्लैक बोर्ड इज एम आई अडिबल तो आई आई एम गोइंग टू म्यूट यू आई विल टीच हेलो ओके सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू साइक्लोन ओके सो स्टडी व्हाट आई टॉट यू स्टडी आई टॉट यू थंडर स्टार एंड means precautions which are needed to be taken care of during thunderstorm time okay now what will be there that thunderstorm only will be developed into cyclone okay so just try to understand everything i have written on the blackboard you should also write same thing okay now try to understand cyclone what is cyclone how it is formed that all those things will discuss today okay so now just try to understand first write the definition of cyclone what is cyclone cyclone is nothing but a weather condition in which formation of a very low pressure system with very high speed winds revolving around it is for that is only called the cyclone so what is the cyclone cyclone is nothing but a weather condition in which what is happening very low pressure system with very high speed winds revolving around it is for this weather condition is only called cyclone now question arises here why low pressure system is for why low pressure system is for That is the question. Okay, so now I will tell you why low pressure system is formed. Try to understand water is undergoing two phenomena. The first phenomena is evaporation. What is evaporation? It is the process of conversion of water into water vapor. So when water gets converted into vapor form, it takes up heat from the atmosphere it takes up heat from the atmosphere means evaporation of water is caused due to absorption of energy from the atmosphere okay now what will be there means when cloud is formed water is taking up heat from the surrounding and getting converted into water vapor now water vapor is there in upper atmosphere where temperature is less so those water vapor they will condense back into rain drops so when water getting converted into water form in the form of rain drops it releases the heat which it has absorbed earlier so when it releases the heat so nearby air become hot and hot air is lighter air it rises up so when it rises up in that area low pressure system is formed this low pressure system to fill that gap air rushes into that side and huge amount of air will revolve around that low pressure area this is only called the cyclone 
and this event will be repeated time and again. So I hope that you understood this one. Once again I will repeat what is there. For the formation of cloud, water takes up heat from the atmosphere to change into vapor. When water vapor changes back to liquid form as a rain drops, the heat is released to atmosphere. This heat warms the air around. The air tends to rise and drop air pressure. More air rushes to center of a storm. This cycle is repeated, resulting into the formation of cyclone. Okay. So the reason behind the formation of cyclone is formation of low pressure area. Okay. Formation of low pressure area. Okay. So just to see all those things you should write. Already it is written in the blackboard, and I think it is visible to you. Okay. Okay, just a minute. Okay. I'm not rubbing. Don't worry. I am not rubbing. Don't worry. You can write. If you have not understood, just tell me. Again, I will repeat the same thing. Don't worry. Okay, I will. Don't worry. I will repeat. Just see. Just you remember two things. What are the two things? When water gets converted into vapor form. Okay. So it takes up heat from the surrounding, and when water vapor condenses back into liquid form, they release the heat. So try to understand when cloud is formed. What is cloud? Study only I have explained you now. Cloud is nothing but a water, hanging droplets of water in air. So when cloud is hello. Hanging water droplets in the air. That is called cloud. Okay. So when just listen carefully, you will understand. Just see when the cloud is formed. That time what is there? Water is getting converted into vapor form. Am I correct or not? So when water is getting converted into vapor form, it takes the heat from the surrounding. Now that water vapor will rise up. And in upper side, what is there? Temperature less, so they condense. Condensation is the process in which liquid form. Okay, so now they will release the amount of heat which they have absorbed earlier. So when they release the heat in that area, temperature will become very high, and resulting. Resulting into increase in the temperature and air also become warm. So air okay, just a minute. Okay, now it is okay. Okay, so just. Hello. So just see now. Now am I audible now? Okay. So again, I am mute. Again, I am muting. Now, maybe network problem at your home. Just see. Okay.
ओके ओके जस्ट मिनट सम पीपल आर वेटिंग लेट मी टेक दम इन ओके नाउ एवरीबडी हैज ज्वाइन ओके सो जस्ट सी सो वॉट आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग I was explaining the formation of cyclone. What is happening? So just see when the cloud is formed. At that time, what will happen? Now water will absorb heat from the surrounding and will get converted into water vapor. This water vapor will rise and will go to the upper atmosphere, where temperature is less. so they will condense back into rain drops and when rain drops are there so during condensation what they will do whatever amount of heat earlier they have absorbed now they will release so when they release the heat around it air become warm so when air become warm you know warm air is lighter air. it will rise so near the earth surrounding what would be there low pressure system will form because whatever air was there near it that has risen now okay so the now low pressure system will form now to fill that gap strong wind will rush into that area and which revolve which is revolve and resulting into formation of cyclone so around the low pressure area revolution of air time and again that is only called the cyclone okay and now everything is written there you should write i will show you the diagram also that diagram you have to make okay so just see this diagram you have to me just see this diagram i hope it is visible to you okay so please make this is page number 88 okay ncert book okay so just make this diagram that is the formation of cyclone okay now what i will do i will explain you factors affecting the cyclone so what are the factors which affect the cyclone so now formation of cyclone that is written i will not rub only the definition of cyclone i will rub okay so factors like wind speed wind direction temperature humidity these are the factors which affect the cyclone so just a minute i will rub upper side okay so factors affecting the cyclone factors factors affecting the affecting the cyclone formation okay no issue i'm now just see in cyclone basically what is happening one low pressure system is generated and around it air moves around it what does move around it air moves 
that is only called cyclone. So just see in the sector what is what is the written wind speed, wind direction, temperature, humidity. So temperature is more, then cyclone will be similarly humidity will be more. Now cyclone will be very very dangerous. Wind direction are and wind speed. More the wind speed, more will be the cyclone disaster. Okay. So in this way, almost everything of cyclone I have explained. As far as the structure of cyclone is concerned, I have shown you the diagram of cyclone. I have shown you or not? So just to see, the center of cyclone is calm area. It is called the eye of the star. A large cyclone is a violently rotating mass of air in the atmosphere. Actually, cyclone is what? It is nothing but a rotating mass of air. Rotating mass of air in the atmosphere, 10 to 15 km high. The diameter of the eye varies from 10 to 30 km. It is a region free of cloud and has light winds. Around this calm and clear eye, there is a cloud region about 150 km in size. In this region, there are high speed winds and thick clouds with heavy rain. Away from the region, the wind speed really decreases. The formation of cyclone is a very complex process. A model is shown in figure 8.11. So just to see, in the structure of cyclone, there is a one place that is called I and I is calm area, okay? And around it 10 to 30 kilometer area, that is, that diameter is having cloud and this is only dangerous, okay? And just see, they are sometimes their size may be 100 kilo, 50 kilometer, okay? And recently, India has witnessed two cyclones or not? One from Arabian Sea and another one from, another one from Vera Bengal. Okay? So, these cyclones are very, very dangerous. These cyclones are known as, known as destructive. Okay? And they are different in different countries. A cyclone is known by different names in different parts of the world. It is called hurricane in the American continent. In Philippines and Japan, called typhoon. So I will write that one also. Okay? So different name of cyclones. Okay? So just a minute. I am unmuting you. Okay. Ha, did you understand? No problem. Shall I speak? Shall I delete this one? Okay, again I am muting you. Okay, one by one, one by one only ask. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I will tell you. Okay, I will tell, I will explain. Please don't share screen. Don't share screen. No, in this way, hello, don't write anything on white one.
I'm solving your doubt. One fellow asked how the humidity. Cyclone. Hello. Don't share a screen. Who is sharing? Hello. Okay, I just see. I will. I will mute all. Who is doing this one? Abhishek Malgaudar. Okay, Abhishek Malgaudar. Okay, now I will remove him. Hello, Abhishek. Are you listening me? Now, don't, don't share the screen. Don't share the screen. Now, nothing is visible from the blackboard. Whatever is written on the board is visible. Okay, just a minute. Hello. Hello. Okay. A cyclone, there is no good thing. Okay? Cyclone will not have any good thing. Always remember. It is destructive only. It is destructive. Ah, yes. And heavy rainfall will also be there. Huh? Yes. Yes, humidity affects the cycle. Your, your question is how humidity affects the cyclone. That is only, na? What is the meaning of humidity? Humidity means more amount of water vapor in the air. So when more amount of water vapor will be there in the air, 
then the vigor vigorousness of cyclone will be more because when more humidity more temperature will be there and the low pressure system will be developed okay okay just a minute doubt clearing session na okay okay i am muting just a minute just a minute Okay, just a minute. Okay. you are not audible i will tell hi yes now Ah uh, yes. Now I am muting. Just a minute. हेलो 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 हाँ यस नाउ स्क्रीन स्क्रीन इज विजिबल नाउ सो जस्ट सी योर क्वेश्चन इज हाउ ह्यूमिडिटी इज अफेक्टिंग द साइक्लोन सो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ह्यूमिडिटी more amount of water vapor in the atmosphere so when amount of water vapor will be there in the atmosphere cyclone will be more vigor because because of humidity more temperature will be there and low pressure area will be developed okay Yes. So just to see here. 
साइक्लोन साइक्लोन ओके नाउ आई एम म्यूटिंग ओके यस नाउ एवरीथिंग अबाउट द साइक्लोन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ओके वॉट आर द ओके आई विल टेल जस्ट सी वेन एवर साइक्लोन आर देयर जस्ट सी number one thing is we should always sit keeping our head down that is the first safety measures one thing second one thing is we should be away from houses okay and we should ओके 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 हम्म ओके सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द डिफरेंट नेम्स ऑफ साइक्लोन डिफरेंट नेम्स ऑफ साइक्लोन ओके जस्ट सी डिफरेंट नीम साइक्लोन साइक्लोन हरिकेन हरिकेन इट इज कॉल्ड इन कंटिनेंट इन अमेरिका सेकंड वन इज typhoon typhoon in philippines and japan japan philippines and japan okay so these are the different names okay so just note down this one also now in this way almost today's portion is completed okay and now tomorrow i will teach some other things like 
tornadoes effective safety measures i will write all those okay and your some some of the properties of air is left that also i will complete don't worry so i hope that whatever today i have taught you understood okay bye Okay. Okay. Bye.